Hi everybody, I'm Laura and welcome back to my little bitty kitchen and um, welcome to my channel. Today, um, my channel is all about cooking with what you've got, cooking within your means, not having to buy stuff that you can't afford, and um, being able to make do on a budget. Today we're making Philly cheese steak. I'm not going to go out and buy all these extra ingredients um, to make a fabulous over the moon Philly cheese steak with mushrooms and all that. Simply put, it's a Philly cheese steak. I got rolls on clearance at Walmart. I'm actually going to divide these up after I take one out, put one in the refrigerator in a Ziploc bag, make sure they're all separated that's left, put the rest in a Ziploc bag, put them in the freezer. What else is on the menu? I've cut up some frozen broccoli. These are supposed to be florets and of course you know they're mostly stems it seems. So I've cut some up. I've cooked them partially so they're not frozen and um, if you've watched my other video um, I made some batter and we're going to deep fry some broccoli to go with it. Um, I seasoned it simply with some good old-fashioned salt and pepper and original Mrs. Dash. That's all I use. You can season it however you like. It is your kitchen. When you cook this, do it however you like. Um, this is simply one egg, a dash of milk, you know, accordingly, however much you need, and a big old dollop of flour until I get to the consistency I want, I add milk. Instead of using provolone or something like that and going out and buying an expensive cheese, I had already gone out um, and bought some white American slices a while back to make grilled cheese and stuff. I'm from upstate New York. Upstate New York. American cheese is white. So, every chance I can afford it, I go and I buy real American cheese that is white. It's just me. That is the way I am. I also have some A1 steak sauce and a little jar of uh, Miracle Whip salad dressing. I was at Walmart today and I picked up this little package. It's $1.82 of roast beef. You can see that it's still pretty pink. I wanted it that way because I'm going to be frying this. Um, a little bit of butter. And I've already sliced up a half of a medium sized onion. You can put mushrooms in it if you wish. Uh, green peppers, I can't eat either of those. Um, it bothers my stomach. So make it however you want to make it. Season it however you want to season it. I will put a little bit of pepper on it. I am using A1 steak sauce on it. Um, so for right now, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to set this out of our way. I'm going to start slicing the roast beef. I know people are like, you got to have steak or um, Philly cheese steak. I use roast beef. It's just perfectly fine. This is about, I believe, a third of a pound. Um, I don't have my glasses down and I don't want to touch my glasses. And I'm just simply going to cut it into strips to kind of, you can shred it, you can cut it however you want. And like I said, it, when you do this, it'll be in your kitchen, do it however you like. This is just me showing you what I'm cooking for my dinner today. And I'm going to probably cut these in half. So, I'll show you and yes, my hands are clean. I did that before I even started cooking. 
so you can see, there is my roast beef all cut up, ready to go in the pan. But I don't want to start that yet. I want to take care of getting everything else ready to go before I start cooking. Alright, I've gone ahead, I've gotten one of the rolls out, I've split it in half. What I'm going to do is, before I'm ready to put everything on this roll, I'm going to actually plop it in a pan with a little bit of butter and I'm going to toast it. While this pan is heating up with some margarine in it to start frying the onions, I'm going to go ahead and, because this is hot, and the way you know your oil is hot, take a pinch of flour, drop it in there, and you'll see that this flour fries up. And that's how you know your flour is, your oil's hot. If it burns the flour, then it's too hot. So I'm just going to take, um, get my spoon ready. A few of these, drop them in there. I think I could do it with my fork. Stir this up a little bit. Pull it out and just drop it into the oil. Now, I know I'm going to have leftover batter. That's not a problem. It's just me, so I'm used to that. So I'm going to show you um, some of these that are ready to kind of turn maybe. I just kind of want to roll them. This one here is pretty close to being done. Let me show you what that looks like. Get my phone out of the way. Oops, hot oil on the screen of my phone. it was still rolling. Sorry about the phone call interruption. Um, this is done. They are really good. Nice and tender. Nice savory taste. The onions are about where we want them. Let me get us a spoon for those. your onions however you want. I'm going to cook mine just a little bit longer. And then I have my pan over here warming up that I will be toasting my roll in. This is about where I like my onions where they just start to get a little translucent. Um, I might leave them in just for a couple more minutes, but that's about it. And while that's finishing there, I'm going to go ahead and butter my roll and get it toasted. Or if you're like me and you're having problems toasting your roll because the bread is too soft, just put some butter in your pan. Let it get hot and melted. Just drop your roll in there. And let it grill. 
I'm going to go ahead and take these out. Now I am leaving the extra butter in there and I'm going to go ahead and just drop my meat in. I'm going to pull it apart as I do so. This won't take long to cook down. And as you can see, a quarter of a pound or a third of a pound, whichever this was, is not much. It's about enough for one set. I'm going to salt and pepper this. Actually, I'm just going to use salt or pepper. Sorry. I'm just going to use pepper. And just a dash of A1 while it's cooking. I can get it to come out. Woohoo! New bottle. Just enough to give it some A1 while it's uh, cooking. Alright, I'm going to let that because you don't want to cook it too fast or it will be um, tough. I have this divided in two for a reason. Um, when I go to take this from here and put it on my roll, it's easier to have it in small sections instead of trying to move one big piece. So from this point, I don't know why my camera would not let me zoom. I'm going to turn my burner down just a wee bit. I'm going to go ahead and put my onions back on top. Like so. And then I'm going to Grab my cheese. A slice for that half. And a slice for this half. And I'm going to let that melt. While that's melting, I'm going to take and put just a dab of mayonnaise on, you can put it on the top, you can put it on the bottom, I put mine on the bottom. This is actually Miracle Whip salad dressing. And let me cover that. To help the cheese melt, we're gonna cover that for a second. Let the burner come back on just to melt the cheese. And the cheese will continue to melt once it's on the several. So you don't want it completely melted or it will be disappeared. So you want it to look kind of like that. half there, the other half there, I drizzle the remainder out in the middle, and I'm going to get a knife and get some of that out. Okay guys, I got tired of fighting with my A1, so it is what it is. I'm going to fold this over. 
I'm going to slice this in half. And I always slice mine into fourths. Easier to get a hold of. Easier to handle when you're eating. Philly cheese steak, guys. How awesome is that? I'm going to have my dinner. And I'll talk to all of you guys in the comments below. Bye, guys.